Hey guys, Sean here. Today I'll be showing you how to play Branded Chimera. Branded Chimera has become one of my favourite branded variants. It's very strong, I feel like it has a good position in this meta. So here's a few basic combos on how to play the deck. We'll be going through some going first, going second combos, and then some test hands. So let's get right into it. So for combo number one, it's a one card combo, you either need to have your Cornfield Kotal or your Mirror Sword Knight. Cornfield Kotal simply searches uh, Mirror Sword Knight. Cornfield Kotal does uh, make you vulnerable to Droll, while Mirror Sword Knight is pretty much Droll proof. However, Cornfield Kotal gives you an extra negate in the grave. So whichever one you get, uh, they both work out pretty fine. We'll go with the strongest combo first, so we'll start off with Mirror Sword Knight. You're going to activate your Mirror Sword Knight, uh, so you can discard him to add any monster that mentions Chimera Fusion which is going to be your Mirror Sword Knight. Normal Summon Mirror Sword Knight, you can activate his effect, tribute for cost, special summon a monster from your deck that mentions Chimera Fusion, which will be your Big Winged Burfamet. Activate Burfamet, you're going to add a Chimera Fusion and a uh, level four beast from your deck to your hand. So we're gonna go Chimera Fusion and your Gazelle King of Mythical Claws. Burfamet can also add you any level four beast monster, so you can add a Spriggan's Kit, or you can add a King Tiger Wangu. Depending on your build and depending on what you're siding in, those could be good options, but for your main combo, you're gonna add your Gazelle and your Chimera Fusion. Activate Chimera Fusion, you're gonna fuse your Gazelle and your Burfamet into your Chimera, the King of Mythical Beasts. We're going to go Chain 1 Gazelle to add you any Illusion Monster. Chain 2 Burfamet to revive any Illusion Monster, so you're gonna target your Mirror Sword Knight. And then Chain 3 your Chimera to, uh, during the end phase, send one card from your opponent's hand to the grave. Do it in this order to chain block. So if your Chimera is chain link three, you cannot get Ashed or, or Ghost Bell. So that will resolve. Uh, you're going to special summon your Mirror Sword Knight, and then your Gazelle is going to add you an Illusion Monster. We're gonna add a Cornfield Kotal for follow-up. Next, we can activate Chimera Fusion in the grave. Uh, if we control a Chimera Monster, we can add this to our hand. At this point, we can set Chimera Fusion for follow-up on our opponent's turn. It's a quick play fusion spell, so we can go into something like a Guardian Chimera to pop cards. Uh, we're going into a Draco's Topelia to negate, Magnum the Reliever to pop cards. And having Chimera on field means that our Cornfield Kotal and our Mirror Sword Knight are both negates. Mirror Sword Knight can negate a monster effect, and Cornfield Kotal can negate an effect that targets one of your cards, and it can negate and destroy it. This combo also plays through Nibiru, which is very good. If you extend, you're going to be vulnerable to Nibiru, but it's not too big of a deal and we can pass turn. Right off the bat, we can use our Chimera Fusion to go into something like a Guardian Chimera. But first off, we can activate Mirror Sword Knight, tribute him because he's a quick effect to go into a Burfamet. We summon Burfamet, we'll use his effect to add two cards. We'll add the Chimera Fusion and the Gazelle. At this point, we can activate Chimera Fusion to go into a Guardian Chimera with two draws in one pop. We can go into it using two pops and one draw or we can go into something like a Dragos Topelia because we have Dark Monster and a Fusion on the field. And then on the follow-up, we have another Chimera Fusion, Cornfield Kotal and a Gazelle. For your next combo, here's a Floodgate combo to get a Barrier Statue of the Abyss on your field. So it's the same as the first combo. You're gonna activate your Chimera Fusion that you brought back from the graveyard. You're going to fuse your Kotal and your Chimera to go into your Burfamet. On summon Burfmet Foolish Burials, a Beast Fiend or Illusion. So we are going to activate the effect to dump the Barrier Statue. At this point, we'll pass turn. Uh, during our opponent's draw phase, we are going to activate in the grave our Chimera. We can banish it to revive a Fiend, Beast or Illusion monster. So we're going to activate the effect, banish him, target the Barrier Statue, special summon it. Now our opponent can only summon darks, and since we're in a fire format, this could be game ending right there. Okay, so if you're going into time with this deck, you have two options. You can either go into something like a Masquerade, which is a decent option, or you can go for a card like Red Resonator, which if you dump this and then special summon it, you can gain life points. So using the same combo we used to go into Barrier Statue of the Abyss, we can go into our Burfamet. Burfamet will dump the Red Resonator instead, during our opponent's turn, we'll activate the Chimera. We will banish it to special summon the Red Resonator. Activate Red Resonator, target any card in the field, gain life points. So in this case, we'll gain 2400 life points. Okay, next up, one card Brand Fusion combo. First off, we use uh, Brand Fusion as a combo starter to get us into our Chimera engine. Activate Chimera Fusion, we are going to send our Fallen Valbaz and a Gazelle because it is a beast we can go into a card like Rindbrum 
That will trigger our gazelle because it's used as fusion material. We can add an illusion monster from deck to hand. We'll add the cornfield Kotal. At this point, same combo as before. Activate cornfield Kotal. Search for the Mirror Sword Knight. Normal Mirror Sword Knight. Tribute to get your Big Wing Burfamet. Activate the effect. Searching a gazelle and a Chimera Fusion. Activate Chimera Fusion. Go Big Wing Burfamet and Gazelle into your Chimera. We'll go Chain 1 Burfamet, Chain 2 Chimera because we already used Gazelle's effect. So Big Wing Burfamet is going to bring out an Illusion Monster, which will be Mirror Sword Knight. And then Chimera is going to rip a card out of our opponent's hand during the end phase. We can add Chimera Fusion back from the grave because we control a Chimera. So if we pass here with a set Chimera Fusion, uh, we can do the same thing as before where we use Mirror Sword Knight, go into another Big Wing Burfamet, add some cards to hand, and then we have Guardian Chimera online. We can also use Chimera and Rindrum to go into something like a Dragos Topelia because we have a Dark and a Fusion. And then we can use uh, Rindrum's effect in the graveyard to bring out our Albaz to fuse into something else. The previous combo uh, serves us from the Beiru because you summon it more than five times. So this combo here can um, insulate us from that. If we have Branded Fusion and our Kotal, we can go Branded Fusion, dump the Albaz and a Hex Seal. We are going to go into our Albion. Uh, Albion is going to banish the Albaz and the Hex Seal in order to go into everyone's favorite card, Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. Already two summons in and we have a, we have a fusion on field and we have a negate. Now we can go to regular Chimera line, activate Kotal to search our Mirror Sword Knight, normal Mirror Sword Knight, tribute to bring out the Burfamet, activate Burfamet to add Gazelle and Chimera, activate Chimera Fusion, we'll go these two into our Chimera, uh, chain link one Gazelle, Chain link to Big Wing Burfamet, Targeting Mirror Sword Knight, and then Chain link Tree Chimera. So through all this, we have protection from the Biru, but we also have protection from stuff like Droll. Activate the Chimera Fusion in Graveyard, add it to our hand. So again, we can set the Chimera Fusion or we can use it right now to go into something like a Drago Stapelia, but I think it's much better to set this and have it for follow up for next turn. This deck can play pretty well under Shifter. So if you start off with Branded Fusion and Cornfield Kotal, you can essentially go full combo. We're going to start off with the brand of fusion. Uh, we're going to dump the Albaz and the Hex Seal. Now, they'll get banished because of Shifter, but because of the Hex Seal, we can count it as Fallen of Albaz and use the actual Fallen of Albaz as the Dark Monster to go into your Lubellion. Lubellion effect, pitch a card. We will fuse the two banished monsters, shuffle them back into the deck to go into your Dragoon. And again, at this point, we're free from the Biru. Activate Kotal, it will get banished, but we can search our Mirror Sword Knight. Normal Summon Mirror Sword Knight, activate the effect. Now, we won't have any negates in the graveyard, but that's fine because we can still end on a pretty good board. Bring out the Big Wing Burfamet, activate the effect to search. The search for Chimera Fusion and the Gazelle. Activate Chimera Fusion, go Gazelle and Burfamet into your Chimera. Activate Chimera Effect because we can't activate the other effects. Pitch a card from our opponent's hand during the end phase. So our opponent will end their turn on three cards, they'll draw for turn, having them on four cards, but we'll also have a negate with Dragoon. And that was only a three card combo, so we can still have two cards in our hand, which can be which can be something like Chimera Fusion if you want to set that, and then have some uh, Guardian Chimera plays, or it can be something like two hand traps, which could which would help us get through the following turn. Finally, a one card combo that leads to an OTK. We're gonna activate Cornfield Kotal, discard him to add our Mirror Sword Knight. Normal Summon Mirror Sword Knight, activate the effect. The special summon our Big Wing Burfamet, activate Burfamet, add our Chimera Fusion and our Gazelle. Activate Chimera Fusion, we're going to go with Gazelle and Big Wing Burfamet. Into our Burfamet Fusion, we'll go Chain 1 Burfamet, Chain 2 Gazelle, and then Chain 3 Big Wing Burfamet, targeting the Mirror Sword Knight. So Mirror Sword Knight will be summoned, uh, Gazelle is going to add us an Illusion Monster, and Burfamet is going to dump a monster. So Gazelle is going to add us a copy of Kotal, and Burfamet is going to dump a Master Tau to Chanter. We're going to trigger Master Tau, uh, when it's sent to the graveyard we can target a Illusion Monster in the graveyard and Special Summon it. So we'll Special Summon the Cornfield Kotal. At this point we'll activate the Chimera Fusion in the graveyard, add it back to our hand because we control a Chimera, which uh, Burfamet counts as on the field. Finally, activate Chimera Fusion, fusing all four monsters here. We have three Illusions and then one monster that counts as Chimera the Mythical Beast, which will make us Chimera the Illusion Beast. It gains an attack for each monster that was used as fusion material, so we have four attacks. It's 3100 attack, 
When it attacks into something, it doesn't destroy it, and then at the end of the damage step, it negates its effect and turns its attack to zero. So the first attack, if we're attacking into something with 4k attack, for example, uh, it's we're going to take 900, we're not going to get destroyed. End of the damage step, it's going to lower that monster's attack to zero and negate its effects. And then we attack three more times for 9,300 damage, and that's game right there. Alright, finally we'll end this with a quick test hand. Going first, we got Branded Opening, Effect Veiler, Poly, uh, Fright for Patchwork, and a Roll Knockbird. Okay, not the best since we drew the Poly and the uh, Fright for Patchwork. In my build, I only run one Poly. I see a lot of builds running two, and I really like that now, because the amount of times I draw a boat is uh, quite a lot. Anyway, going first, uh, in the draw phase, when I activate the Branded Opening, uh, we might as well pitch the Fright for Patchwork. Can't activate it anyway. We're going to special summon a Luber from the deck. A Luber effect when I search the Bandit Fusion. This is all in the draw phase, so we're not gonna get we're not gonna get drolled. Next up, we'll activate the Bandit Fusion. We'll go down the Chimera line, so we're gonna dump uh, the Albaz and the Gazelle to go into the Rindbrum. We're gonna activate Gazelle effect. We're just gonna add the Cornfield Kotal. We'll activate Kotal, discard him to add the Mirror Sword Knight. Normal Summon Mirror Sword Knight, activate the effect, we'll tribute him to Special Summon the Burfamet. Activate Burfamet effect, we're going to search for a Gazelle and a Chimera Fusion. We'll activate the Fusion, we'll fuse the Gazelle and the Burfamet into our Chimera. We're going to go chain one uh, Big Wing Burfamet to bring out an Illusion monster, and then chain two the Chimera to rip a card out of the opponent's hand. Bring out the Mirror Sword Knight. This is a good follow up for next turn. We'll activate the Chimera Fusion, add it back to our hand. I would like to keep the two hand drops in hand, so I think we should go for, I think we should go for the Poly. We'll fuse the Rindbrum and the Aluber, because Rindbrum still has an effect in Graveyard. So we will go into Drago's Stapelia for a Monster Negate. We can set the Chimera Fusion as a, an interruption on our opponent's turn. I'd say we can pass here. So for opponent's turn, we have the Veiler, the Droll, a Monster Negate with Drago's Stapelia, also, we've ripped a card out of our opponent's hand. We have a Mirror Sword Knight to get us a plus two, and we have the Rindbrum Engrave, which can banish either itself or Albaz to bring out the outer one. So we can either go into Albaz to contact Fuse on our opponent's turn, or we can go into Rindbrum to bounce a card if our opponent activates a monster effect. So yeah, pretty good uh, turn one board. So that's it for the combo guide. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. If I missed any good combos, let us know. Let me know if you want to see videos like this in the future. There's plenty of decks that I'd like to show off combos for, even just at a basic level, to get you guys a basic understanding of certain decks. Uh, if you want to see more branded Chimera content, let me know. We also have a deck profile of this deck that you can check out if you want to see what the deck looks like.